the word mpumudi means I have rested. But this universal primary education school found in this area paints quite a different picture. In 2010, a heavy storm ripped off the roofs of two classroom blocks, breaking the buildings in the process. Fati Nabugweri teaches primary three. Her pupils sit under this mango tree that has been a classroom for six years now. She explains that it is hard to keep the children's eye and minds from wandering. Whenever I'm explaining to these children and they see somebody moving, for example, like these, these younger children going to, going to the, the toilet, they just now pay attention to that, those children moving, going to the toilet. Nabugweri says the weather can also be a menace. The school head teacher Robert Badebie says he has written to the ministry several times since he joined the school in 2013 in addition to appealing to the district education administration for help. Reports have been written to the cow's office. I found some reports there and they are at the district. Even when I took over the school in 2013, I wrote to the district and up to the ministry. But Debbie says they have now resorted to teaching pupils in double shifts. Primary three studies under a mango tree during the morning session. In the afternoon, when P1 and P2 have gone home, because for them, their session is end at one. When they go, then P3 shifts from under the mango tree to P2. As a result, the school population has dropped. We have 160 pupils as I speak now. The State Minister for Primary Education, Rosemary Seninde, visited the school, promising that the government will give assistance, but at a later time. So I wouldn't like to promise that now or tomorrow we have already allocated the budget of the ministry. As the motto of the school goes, education is the key to success. Now, depending on the environment under which these peoples are studying, it leaves a billion dollar question. How will they use that key to open the doors to their future compared to peoples who study under fully constructed classrooms? Solomon Kawesa, NTV.